Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are looking at problems today involving absolute values. So for our first one, we have to evaluate this expression which contains two sets of absolute values in it. To do this, we have to remember that the order of operations still holds here. So we treat the absolute value signs as two parentheses or brackets and compute what's inside of each one first uh, before we move on with the problem. So this is going to become the absolute value of 4 minus 7 which is negative 3 plus the absolute value of negative 10 plus 2 which is negative 8 now we evaluate the absolute values of each of these numbers to get rid of those absolute value signs. So here the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3 plus the absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8. And now we can go ahead and add to finish this expression and we get positive 11 as our answer here. Now let's move on to um, absolute value notation. So we are used to um, inequalities written in this way. So let's look at the first one. We have uh, two inequalities, x is less than negative 3 or x is greater than 3. Let's graph this on the number line so we can remember what this looks like. When we have x is less than negative 3, we don't include negative 3, so we use an open circle there, and then uh, x will be any value less than that negative 3. And on the other side of the number line, in the positive values, x is greater than 3, so again, we put an open circle because it doesn't include 3, and then x can be any value to the right this way. So this is what that looks like. If we were, this is for the, these inequalities here, if we were to change this notation that we're used to up until now into absolute value notation, then we have to consider the values of these two sets of numbers without the signs on them. So here we see that we have anything greater than the number 3, so the magnitude of these numbers are all greater than 3, and here again the values are greater than 3. So for A, if we take the absolute value of x, it will always be greater than 3, meaning the magnitude of the number, the size of the number only, ignoring the signs, would be greater than 3 here and greater than 3 here. Now, for part b, when x is between negative 8 and positive 8 inclusive, on the number line, this looks like this. We put a closed circle on the negative 8 because this is a less than or equal to, so it includes the negative 8. And then we put a closed circle on the positive 8, again, because this is a less than or equal to sign, which includes the 8. And then we have any numbers in between on the number line. So that is what this inequality looks like graphed on the number line. To change it then to absolute value notation, we have to think about the value of the numbers when we remove the sign. So we look at the magnitude only of these numbers. And if you look at that, we have the numbers 0 through 8 on this side and 0 through 8 on this side as well. So here, the absolute value of x will always be less than or equal to the number 8 because on this number line we don't have any numbers that exceed that magnitude of the number 8. So that is the basics on absolute value notation. Thanks for visiting Mrs. A Loves Math.